What's good with y'all, man? Welcome back to the channel for another fire-ass video. Say, man, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. We're talking about my budget AR build. This is a radical firearms uh, AR pistol chambered in 5.56223. Has a 10 and a half inch barrel. We got the pistol brace and uh, yeah. I'm about to go over everything that's on this gun, uh, all the things that I plan on doing to it, what's done to it already, and then uh, give y'all a little bit of advice. So I picked this pistol up for $470, all right? Now it came with one mag and we are empty. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go over everything that's on it right now. This gun came bare bones stock, all right? So I'm gonna go over everything that's on it as of now. And I've tried to keep it under a thousand dollars for the most part. Starting from the tip, uh, we got your bird cage type of, uh, I don't know what y'all want to call that, uh, muzzle device. Now I heard this is supposed to keep down um, the recoil. Um, I'm not so much sure about the uh, the fire coming out this bad boy, but you know we're gonna see what it's talking about. Right here we got a flashlight. I'm not gonna tell you what kind of flashlight because they are not uh, paying for this advertisement. So that's just gonna be what it is. I do have a pressure pad switch up here, which if you touch the top, boom, it turns on momentarily. Um, and actually it's the same thing here. Uh, but if you press this all the way down, it'll stay on. Press it all the way down, it'll cut off. But I honestly just use this one button for everything. You can tell right here, I have some Magpul um, rail guards. All right, uh, this is my first time actually using these bad boys. Um, and they actually pretty comfortable. Full disclaimer, I haven't shot this gun yet. So um, this should be fun. I just thought that was something I always wanted. I've seen a lot of people customizing these. Having the aluminum ones that help with heat, uh, these are actually rubber. I think these go for like, 14, $15 maybe. I thought that would be like a good little touch to it um, just to like make it a little bit more comfortable. Now at the bottom, we have the hand stop. On these pistols, I actually prefer a hand stop over, um, what's those things called? Like four grips or whatever that y'all be using. I don't know, this is uh, a lot more minimalistic. I feel like it's a lot more realistic. And um, if I need to dig it into something like a car or a barrel or a piece of wood or something like that, I feel like this is going to be more practical than one of them plastic angle grips or whatever that I'm using these days. Work our way a little bit further back. I do have a QD mount right here. Um, of course, you got to run a sling on your rifle. Uh, let's see. Now, it came with um, an actual metal mag which um, you can either be for or against. Um, I just wish ARs came with more than one mag. I'm starting to hear a lot of these ARs are starting to only come with one mag, like Dane Defenses and um, what's the other one? Uh, Radiance. And so I'm just like, bro, like you spent $2,200 on a gun and y'all can't include at least two or three mags. That's stupid. But this one was only $470, so uh, it's not a bad thing. I could really care less for um, the white follower though. So that's just uh, my, my opinion. Now, um, I do have hockey tape around the magazine uh, just for that extra grip on it. Uh, I don't have no problem pulling it out. <laughs> 33 with no kids, right? Let's take it to the top because I already know that y'all probably noticed this already. Um, I do have iron sights on here, um, no optic. Now, what's the reason for that, you ask? Well, I am looking for a budget optic that's actually going to work for this gun, but not too budget. So I may be thinking like maybe a Hollison Ames, maybe. I do plan on actually using this, and I'm going to go into why I actually got this gun in the first place. But um, I actually do plan on training with this gun um, for other reasons. And I'm, again, I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit later, so just, just chill. So for right now, I have irons on just because I want it functional just in case I need to use it. Um, we move down standard uh, mil spec trigger on it. Um, to be completely honest with you, um, this trigger's trash. It's, it feels worse than my Ruger. 
Um, I think I only got two rubers. <laughs> Go figure, right? Yeah, I think it feels a little bit worse in my rubers if I'm if I gotta be honest with y'all. Something that may have not been here before, but it is here now. I have the Radian Raptor charging handle on here. This isn't regular. I'm just gonna say that because uh, you know YouTube's policies and procedures. But so I can basically pull that bolt back in any fashion. I, let's say uh, we move down to the safety. All right, so it is not an ambidextrous safety. So I can probably see Radian um, being uh, a future because I actually want to trick this gun out but with um, decent parts so it's actually going to run. And uh, yeah, again, we're going to get into that a little bit later in the video. I mean, bolt release works. Uh, then we go to the back. Um, uh, uh, so standard, this thing comes with just like a little tube. Um, this is a Strike Industries um, buffer tube for AR pistols and a SB Tactical 3 um, pistol brace. Uh, MFT, what's this thing called? A, a pistol grip? Yeah. So this is an MFT pistol grip and to be completely honest with you, this is trash too. I'm not a big fan of it. It's just like, Pause, pause, I'll say pause. Um, this is just like really, I don't know, like slick. It, it doesn't feel, it feels just enough in a sense. It's like, okay, yeah, we did something. It's kind of like, hmm, how would I describe it? Um, it's kind of like chicks that get their eyebrows tattooed on. It's like, it looks good, but it's really not there as far as the stippling goes. Um, yeah, so yeah, your hand can slip off this pretty easy. So that's something that uh, I would upgrade if, uh, if I were you guys. But again, Radical Firearms, they've been running deals on these bad boys 24 seven. I ran across a deal on this in a pawn shop, um, came up off of it 470 even. So far, um, ended up getting a deal on the light, 70 bucks. Um, Paid one, what, what, I think like 125 maybe after tax. Yeah, 125 after tax for the charging handle. I think that was like 80 bucks uh, for the Strike Industry Buffer Tube. And yeah, that's it so far. And like I said, $15 for this, and I already had this. So. Let's talk about one thing. Um, the whole reason for me even purchasing this uh, this AR pistol was because this is the exact same configuration as my 350 Legend, right? So I wanted a way that I could practice with this without spinning that ammo because 357 ammo, 350, 357, 350 Legend ammo it's very expensive and yeah i'm not trying to pay that so um that's the whole reason why i pretty much let me stand this up that's the whole reason why i pretty much built this gun twice let me see if that was this hold on i'm trying to hold them up both at the same time yeah. so yeah this gun is pretty much has been pretty much built twice all right so we got a cheaper configuration, and this is like, I would give this more of a mid-tier type of configuration. But this is my home defense, um, so I wanna be able to practice with it, but like on a budget. So uh, 5.56 actually makes sense um, compared to practicing 24-7 with 350 Legend. But also too, um, I think the recoil would be very uh, moderate compared to the 350 Legend. 350 Legend kicked like a, a 7.62, no cap. So, um, and I'm pretty sure this I have a little bit of kick to it as well, but it won't probably be as bad as that bad boy. Not for sure. So, um, but yeah, this has been, uh, the whole reason for me purchasing this is just to practice with this gun, man. Now, if I was to upgrade anything on this gun, um, it would be two things off the rip. Three things off the rip. 
I would focus on upgrading the bolt carrier group, the BCG, um, the bolt carrier group, the bolt carrier group, which is this little thing that slides back and forth, that ejects your rounds, all of that good stuff. Um, that's gonna be the heart of the gun. All right? I know a lot of times you see people say, hey, um, the lower can be pretty much generic. It's your upper that actually matters, which is very much so true. All right, um, bolt carrier group, this bad boy right here um, is uh, pretty much the heart of the gun. You wanna make sure that this thing is running flawless. Uh, as of right now, this thing has no oil in it, no lube, no nothing. All right, so um, y'all can probably hear that. So uh, again, this gun hasn't even been shot yet. So we're gonna see how it does at the range um, once, uh, once we get out there. So the bolt carrier group, would be the first thing I would focus on uh, when it comes to upgrading a budget rifle. All right, um, the second thing would be the barrel. All right, the barrel is going to be um, your secondary. That's going to pretty much um, solidify your accuracy. All right, um, you want to make sure you got a solid barrel. I've been studying barrels, but not too much to the point where I can give y'all a recommendation. And even if I could give y'all a recommendation, them motherfuckers ain't paying, so, you know, <laughs> no free promo. All 2024, no cap. The third thing I will upgrade would have to be the trigger. Um, this trigger is Boo Boo Cheese Water, my boy. Um, yeah, I, I definitely have to upgrade this trigger. Um, let's actually do a test. Hold on. Let's do a test. Let's do a test. I want y'all to see this. All right. Let's just this. Wait. Okay. That's good. And then it pops. Yeah, it just, it's really grainy. And it's probably one of them situations that I probably just need to, to break this bad baby in. But I'm just like, uh, do I really have a time for that? You know? <laughs> so, um, I have a trigger option. I plan on trying out in this gun. Um, I don't see a lot of people talking about it, but I'm gonna actually give it a whirl. And then if I shoot faster and more gooder than a lot of other people, then y'all know why. As of right now, this is just like a, let's call this a 50% update on my uh, 5.56 uh, rifle build. I actually got a name for it, but I'm not gonna name it until I, uh, I finish building it completely out. And then uh, from there, we'll go, yeah, we're going to a full detailed review, man. Um, my goal for this is to keep this thing under, I'll say, my goal is to keep this thing under $1,300, all right? $1,300. Remember, for $500, you can get you a functioning rifle or a pistol and then from there you can make minor upgrades to make sure it's going to be a reliable pistol all right with that being said i mean that's pretty much it man put this back over here it should be done by maybe december-ish so uh once it's fully done man i'm gonna bring out a full review i'm going to reveal the name of it and then of course if y'all got any questions just drop them in the comments within the first 24 hours of the video dropping and I'll answer as many questions as I can. Other than that, you on your own. You gotta pay attention to your own research. With that being said though, um, lastly, man, um, I have officially started my own vlog channel. I have not dropped anything on that vlog channel yet, but uh, the link will be in the description, the first link in the description below. So make sure that y'all go ahead and subscribe to the vlog channel if that's what y'all into. Um, I'm gonna be pretty much doing everything but guns. Y'all just gonna get 100% uh, Chris in a sense, man. So I wanna, uh, I want y'all to get to know me for the people that actually want to get to know me outside of my gun advice. And then from there, man, shit, we're gonna run this all the way up. Uh, I want another channel at 100K. I want another uh, 100K plaque, you know what I'm saying? And I know we can get that shit done ASAP like Rocky, you feel me? Oh. It is my bedtime, my boy. But anyways, man, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Let me know if you guys got any questions in the comments. Let me know if y'all even got this gun, if it's any good. Or let me know if it's gonna blow up in my face when I shoot the first magazine. So let's go ahead and go from there, man. I appreciate y'all. Until next time, let's get it.